Hi, it's Beep here in our garden that we started in May. Um, this is the bed that had uh, potatoes in. We've now got garlic in. Some were planted just the other day and some I had earlier so they are planted here. Uh, we've got a couple of cabbages here. This is the the parsnip bed and we're actually digging up some big parsnips already. They've really grown well. So this is the parsnip we just took, dug up and they're quite nice size. That's a little left one is a bit wonky but who minds? Nobody minds. And this is the carrots. I've just pulled two up. This is an absolute beauty. And this one you can see has got a bit of carrot fly, which we can cut out when we're eating it. So these are the rest of the carrots. Then under this fleece here, we uh, done a late sowing of carrots, which are pretty big already. They are. You can see them through, but we keep them covered to just keep them growing as it is now mid-October. These, this looks like a spinach, but it's actually a yellow beetroot. Let's see if I can find a yellow white. It's probably more white. That's one. And they eat just the same as, um, as an ordinary but they're just white. They're slightly softer, so they don't need to be boiled as long. Uh, over here we have some uh, sweet. They're quite good size sweet. And what I didn't realize was that the caterpillars love uh, the tops, but they've all been grown. Here's another big carrot you can see. Here we have the Swiss chard, which is not bad. And here's some more carrots. The last few of the, the beetroot. But I think what we've noticed is that the willows take a bit of the nutrients. Everything seems to be smaller. The plants seem to be smaller, closest to the willow hedge. These are the leeks, which are doing quite well, getting a little bit of rust. There, you can see the leak. So, these are kaolettes. I think they get little kale thingies in the side leaf shoots. Here's some red cabbage, which are doing well. These are purple sprouting looking good. The butterflies have gone and left us and have gone and left us alone now. And here is the curly kill and they had a huge had a big problem of um, white white flyy stuff. Aphids, real bad problem. I've been spraying them with washing up liquid some neem oil in water and here this is what the problem was you see that this was all over the plant this one I've got to redo I'll show you what I do you really got to get in the open the leaf up to kill off the white flag there's some here in my leaf and if you do this a few times it it kills the aphids and these plants are totally regrown and they were in quite a poor state but I've still got it <laughs> they're really quite revolting and this is the Cavanera growing very tall it's past my head and some cabbage thingies. 
here's a this is like a sprouting thing it's a bit of cabbage we've got some more carrots and this carrot's gone to seed I think these are nearly ready to come back and where we had the squashes we've sown French beans that are just starting to come up this one is it's growing a root and then the other side we should get a sprout and here's one they've been in they've probably been in about 10 10 12 days this one that's a weed a lovely old dock and so that's what's been happening to show you from the side mark is still spraying some of the curly kale so this is just an update of what's been going on